Hey guys, thanks for talking about Greg's Beer Reviews today. My best buddy Parrish has uh, sent me another package here from California. And there are five beers in here according to what this note says. Hi Greg, there's five beers here that I know you will enjoy. These are all great beers, Pierce Parish. And five beers in a box. That's an expensive shipment, not counting. I mean, it's got this box costs $42.60 to ship from, uh, from California. So he spent that much just on the shipping of the beers, not counting what he paid for the beers. So, Parish, boom. Thank you, brother. Uh, you're awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually beside myself and humbled that I have you as a friend. Uh, I really, I really, I really mean that, and I really appreciate all these wonderful beers you're sending me. Hopefully, on the trip out to California, we'll be able to meet and uh, have some beers together, brother. All right, guys, uh, let's get into this package. Right on top here, he has sent me one of the uh, uh, Dale's. Uh, Oscar Blues uh, beers. Uh, this is their old uh, Chubb Scotch Ale. I have had this beer before, but I have not reviewed it yet. So, uh, and this one uh, was canned on. It looks like twelve twenty-eight. No, nope, can't be twelve. So it's o two o two twenty-eight fourteen. So this one is very very fresh. Not even a month old. Wow. And this is a uh, Colorado beer. The beers I get are, are, are brewed down in North Carolina. They have the brewery down there. So this is the uh, the West Coast side, if you will. And uh, just about everything that I've ever had from, uh, from Oscar Blues has been pretty damn good. Everything they do, they put in cans. So they, don't, they don't bottle anything. They want the original breweries to start putting uh, their beers in, in cans. So... All right. Oh. Well, bless your heart, Parrish. Uh, he sent me a uh, Enjoy by 420 in here. And, and by chance, I was able to get my hands on some of this the other day. So... Parish, I appreciate you. you. Can never have too many of these. That's for sure, brother. Thank you for sending me this. I never am sure whether I can get my hands on this or not. The last time I wasn't able to get it, and uh, one of my subscribers sent me a uh, sent me one for me to review for you guys. But enjoy by 420. Awesome beer. Thank you again. I do appreciate it. Put that up there. I I think that's probably the quintessential IPA. I mean, every time they do one of these, I like it more than the last one, and I like every one of them. I think I've gave them 10. So. All right, the next one in the package here. Ooh, Firestone Wookie Jack Black Rye IPA from Firestone Walker. Another company that doesn't make a bad beer as far as I'm concerned. Everything that I've ever had from Firestone Walker has been awesome. This is an 8.3% alcohol by volume beer. Now... Whether it's dated or not, I thought Firestone Walker dated everything that they did. I don't see anything on the label. Uh, with a uh, IPA, it's kind of important, but it's a it's an Imperial though with 8.3 percent. Yep, it looks like it's got it down here on the bottom, but I cannot read it, guys. Looks like it's. Just had my damn cataract surgery on this eye yesterday, day before yesterday, the time y'all see this. Had, had it done on Friday. It says bottled on, and then I can't read the writing. It looks like January 27, 2014. So this was done in January, it looks like. So I'm going to set this can up here. And y'all can still see that, I think. And get this up here where y'all can see it. Two awesome beers, three awesome beers so far, guys. I think me and Parrish have uh, pretty much very similar tastes in, in beers. So uh, what I'm gonna like, he's gonna like, and what I uh, what I'm not gonna like, he's probably not, not gonna like. So uh, let's get into number three here, guys, and see what we got. Oh wow, Ale Smith Nut Brown. I mean. <laughs> I don't think they, we, 
I don't think they make a bad beer. I've not had a bad beer from them uh, from them yet. And he had sent me uh, several from them, and they've all been wonderful. It says bottled on January 13, 2014. Another fresh one. 5% alcohol. This is an English style nut brown. Another bomber. Some big beers from Parrish this time. Alright guys, finally, the last one in the box here. This is Anderson Valley Hugh Yorker Bourbon Barrel Imperial Stout. Whoa, doesn't that sound tasty? Most of the stuff that I get from Anderson Valley has been pretty tasty. They do do some uh, kind of average beers, but most of the stuff, especially their, their bigger beers, have been very, very tasty. Malt beverage aged six months in wild turkey bourbon barrels. This is a 13 and a half percenter. These are all expensive beers, I am sure. I think this is this is well over a hundred dollar box. Wow. I'm blown away, uh, Parrish. You are awesome, brother. You are freaking awesome. This stuff is uh, is gonna be very, very tasty. I know for a fact that it's gonna be tasty. Uh it probably has a date on it, but I cannot see anything on the label here because my poor old eyes is just not working like they should with just having surgery the other day on Friday. So uh, we'll look closely more at it uh, when we review it, but it's not going to be that critical. Being an Imperial Stout and at 13.5%, this beer is going to keep for 20 years. So not that critical on this beer. All right, guys, I'm going to set this down. And set this up here where y'all can see the label on that one. Awesome beer package. I think this is probably the most expensive beer package I've ever received, probably. Uh, man, Parrish, I don't know what to say. I'm blown away. You are uh, you're, you're top-notch. You're number one. The best beer friend that I have. So, guys, uh, this is what he sent today. I know all y'all guys are blown away by all the beers he sends. Because I can tell by the comments that y'all making. Uh, from the beers he's sending me, so, uh, man, wow, I wish you lived a little closer, Parish, where we could share a beer, guy, uh, you're awesome, but if you did, you wouldn't be able to get your hands on these and send them to me, so, uh, I guess it's kind of, kind of good that you, you're, you are out there in California, but all four, all five of these beers are going to be very, very tasty, now, I'm, I can pretty much guarantee you there's not a bad beer in this batch here, can't wait to get these in the fridge and review them for you guys. So, speaking of the fridge, let's go get these in the fridge and see what's in the fridge today. Cheers, Parrish. You're my brother.